Hey there, guys. I've got a uh, an arrow I've made here. This is a piece of Eastern Wahoo that I've straightened. It's uh, not laser straight, but it's 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 pretty straight. It'll it'll. I'm pretty sure that it'll. I'm confident that it'll shoot a straight line. I've mounted a uh, piece of chert in here, uh, bird point. It's uh, you know, to show you how small it is. That's what I consider to be a bird point. You know, something like this would I be more considered be like an arrowhead. And you see the difference in the size. You know, there's a lot of difference there. This one I try to kill a deer with. This one I keep to like rabbits and squirrels. You know, smaller critters. But I like these smaller arrows because they do fly straight. This is a 20, uh, 26 inch arrow. And uh, right now I'm chewing on a piece of uh, piece of sinew, real, real deer sinew, backstrap, uh, tenderloin sinew. Uh, I'm going to wrap this. Wrap this thing up here and show you how we do this. I just chewed on this and got it soft. And uh, anyway, I'm gonna wrap this around here. I broke kind of thinned it out. I wanna. Close to the broad and I'm wrapping this overlapping this uh right there only up close to the arrowhead there. I'm trying to keep this as tight as I can while I'm going down here. Now spreading this out with my fingernail, making it wide. And when this stuff dries, it shrinks. And uh, helps keep your wood from splitting. And then just I want to start going back up just a hair, and then lay this back on itself because it uh, it adheres to itself. And There you go. It's on there. All sinewed on there. And uh, we'll just wait for this to dry. And then when I when that end dries and I'll work on the other end, I'm gonna put a I gotta put a knock, cut a knock into this end, and uh, I'll show you that when we get through with that. Hey, thanks for watching.